Hello, I'm Pastor Joe, and I want to welcome you to Impacts, where I try to share some practical helps, tips, and ideas to nurture your faith in, your commitment to, and your relationship with Jesus Christ. Today is the eighth episode in this series of Road Signs of Faith. So over these this series, we've been looking at some of the commonly seen road signs and how they can help us think about our walk of faith. And I hope that over the previous seven and then this episode as well, that you've enjoyed it and that you have found it helpful. So to end this series, I want us to look at a sign, and I'm not even really sure what to call it. So for lack of a better name, I just refer to these signs as the coming attractions. These are those signs that you see as you're driving down an interstate or a major highway, and they display the uh, businesses and services that are available at the next exit. So what do these coming attraction signs have to do with our faith? That's what we're going to talk about today. Come on, let's get started. You know, I've got a feeling that a lot of us are pretty similar. We get to driving on a trip, and we just kind of lose sight of some important things. I can't tell you how many times we've been traveling, and suddenly I will look down, uh, and I'll notice the gas gauge. And I usually will look down, not because I've thought about checking our gas, but this little light will come on and tell me, hey, we're running low on gas. And so when that little light comes on, I know that I need to start looking for gas. And if I'm in an unfamiliar area, I have no idea where to go. That's where those signs along the road that you pass and it shows the gas stations at the next exit are so helpful. Or maybe I have forgotten to eat enough that day. Or perhaps it's getting late and it's time to find a hotel and Again, if you don't know where you are, where do you turn? Those coming attraction signs where they list the, the food, uh, the restaurants, fast food at the next stop or the, the, uh, the hotels that are there, they are invaluable because they tell you or help you to decide where to go. And they can really help relieve a lot of anxiety. And if you're running out of gas or you're starving or it's getting late, you don't know where to stay, you begin to kind of worry about things. And these signs help uh, stem off that worry and that, that uh, anxiousness because they give us directions. They remind us or tell us what lies ahead, what we're headed for. And you know, when it comes to our walks of faith, we need to remember we're not blindly making our way through this world. We have some pretty good ideas of what lies ahead for us. You know, one of the common uh, scripture passages, it may be the most memorized and most well-known verses uh, in the Bible, it comes from John 3, and I'll add uh, 16 and 17 uh, together. Uh, For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, so that everyone who believes in Him shall not die, but shall have everlasting life. For God did not send His Son into the world in order to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through Him. I mean, what a message. Jesus came not to condemn us, but to save us. And everyone who believes in Him will have forgiveness of sins and the promise of everlasting life. What comfort there is in that. That tells us what lies ahead for us. We're forgiven of our sins. That means there's nothing we can do that God can't forgive. And then we have the reward. We have that promise of an eternal life lived in His presence. I mean, nothing could bring us more comfort than that. Another verse that I like comes from the third chapter of Philippians. But one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead, I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. Forgetting what lies ahead. Our past is just that. It is past. It is behind us. We live in the reality of the promise of forgiveness 
and eternal life. We live in the promise that this life is not all there is. There is something beyond. This life is temporary. As great as this life is, there's something even better for us. And so we need to be careful that we don't allow the the struggles of this life to blind us to God's promises. We live in a fallen world, a broken world, where we have pain and sickness and death and grief and struggles and crisis. We also have joy and happiness and excitement. But none of these things should cloud our vision as to what lies ahead. This life is just a a mere dark shadow of what we can expect. And we need to remember that. What lies ahead? The coming attractions, if you will. So here's my challenge to you. To focus on and to remember the promises of God for forgiveness and eternal life. We'll wrap those two things up into grace. Remember God's grace. And His grace is sufficient. I would say it's more than sufficient to cover all uh, that we go through. Remember who you are. You are a child of God. You're loved by Him and you're saved by Him. Remember whose you are. You belong to Him. And so we can trust those promises. So when life gets difficult, don't let it overwhelm you. But remember that you're a child of God and all that that means. Well, look, I thank you for joining me for this week's uh, Impacts video. I hope that you've enjoyed this whole series, Road Signs of Faith. I encourage you to share it with others so that they can experience it and hopefully grow in their faith as well. Please join me next week for the next installment of Impacts. And if you haven't already done so, take a moment to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And when you do, there'll be a little bell icon. If you hit that, then anytime I post a new video, you will get notified of it. Well, look... Until we get together again next week, I'm going to continue to pray that you would know and be aware of God's presence in your life.